All right, well, uh, good morning. Um, it's been a while since I uh, posted a video, and I'm not really sure why I gave up. Um, I don't know. I just wasn't, I wasn't too pleased with how it was working out, but um, I don't know. I figured I might give it another try today. Um, I got some cool things that's going on, and uh, I figured I'd talk about it on the way to work and uh, see how it goes. So, um, hope you enjoy, and uh, happy Monday. Well, good morning, everybody. Um, let's, uh, let's go to work. So, uh, it's been a while since I posted a video, um, like I said in the intro, I'm not really sure why I gave up, um, I don't know, I just kind of, not that I lost interest, I just, I don't know, I felt like they weren't coming out the way I wanted them to, or the way I thought, but, I don't know, everybody that watched it, uh, seemed to like it, so, um, I don't know, I'm gonna see if it, you know, try again and see what happens, um, so, I got a few things, uh, that kind of came to fruition this past week, and, uh, I wanted to tell you all about it, um, two things happened last week that, uh, are kind of a big deal for me, um, one is, um, I got a proof from Amazon Publishing of my book that I've been writing. Um, now granted, it's not, it's not, a, it's not published yet. Um, but I got a proof of it. And that means that, the, it, you know, I, I wanted to get it so it can, so I can correct, make any corrections, see how it reads and, um, I don't know. I, I just, there's something weird about reading a book, uh, that I wrote and it just, I don't know. I, I needed to see how it, how the book felt, how it read and, uh, make any corrections, see if I want to add anything to it. And, uh, there's an awful lot that I want to not change, but may, but pretty much add. So, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm writing a book and I can't, really even comprehend those words as they come out of my mouth because I never in my life thought that I would write a book, um, and let alone have like a physical book in my hand with my picture and my name on it. So, um, yeah, it's, I, basically the book is called Sleeved. Um, it's about my, uh, my weight loss surgery, um, cause I don't know if I mentioned that yet on these things, but, um, a year ago, this July actually, July 30th will be my year, um, I had gastric sleeve surgery. I was, uh, morbidly obese. I had, uh, sleep apnea, high blood pressure, um, all the great stuff that goes along with being a fat ass, uh, I had. And, um, and last year on July 30th, I decided that, um, well not, I didn't decide on July 30th. There was a lot of stuff that happened before I could have the surgery, but on July 30th of last year, I had the surgery and as I'm talking to you right now, I'm 120 ish pounds down. I weigh 155 pounds and I've never felt this good in my entire life. And, um, so that, that's what I wrote the book about. The book is about the, basically the journey of it all. The, the, the before stuff that I had to go through the, and everything after the surgery. So it's kind of exciting. I, I, I was, you know, it, it, in all the years that I was overweight. I I learned to really not like who I was. And after losing the weight, I don't know what it is, but um, I, I'm kind of liking myself again. I, I like the way I feel. I like the way I look. I, I'm, I'm way more confident than I have been. And like I said, I wrote a book about it and that's, I don't know. It, it's just, it's really kind of cool. And, um, 
and we'll see, and I'll keep you up, updated of, you know, when it's going to be published, and, um, you know, when it's going to be finished, and when it'll be on sale, um, so, anyway, that's, that's the first thing that happened last week that I was, like, beside myself with excitement about, but, the second thing that happened last week is, I mean, other than having my kids and getting married, it, it's honestly the most excited I've ever been. Um, I, I, I felt like, I felt like, like my 10 year old self on Christmas morning, honestly. Um, I know I talked about it in another video about joining the, um, the 501st, uh, and that's the, you know, to be a, a screen accurate stormtrooper, you know, and, um, Friday afternoon, um, the parts showed up, my kit showed up, I have now all of the pieces that I need, well, not all of them, all of the plastic parts anyway that I need, all the armor pieces uh, that I need to make my Stormtrooper costume. Um, it's an original trilogy TK kit for people who know. That's what Stormtroopers are called. They're TKs. So, um, yeah, I have all the white armor pieces and... We, I couldn't really do much on uh, on Saturday. We had a party for my son, his 16th birthday party. That was on Saturday, so that monopolized all of my time, um, which was, by the way, a great party. We had a great time. The kids had a good time. We played a movie on the side of the house and everything, so it was fun. So then Sunday, after cleaning up, um, I decided to start cutting into this armor, and, um, and let me tell you, it's, it was a very, very nerve-wracking thing, I, uh, I was, I sat there for about an hour and a half, just looking at the plastic, just looking at the armor, and trying to psych myself up to actually cut it, I mean, because I spent a lot of money on the kit, the kits aren't inexpensive, um, and now to have to spend, to shell out that money, and now to have to cut it, and, and if I screw it up, I screw it up, there isn't a place, I mean, these, these I, I can't get, like, if I screw up one piece, I can't get just the one piece, I would have to go onto the forums, to these guys that are already, to, uh, stormtroopers and, and get a replacement piece, hopefully, I don't know, so, you know, in the, in these, these pieces, each piece is scrutinized by, uh, by the people that, uh, approve us to be part of the 501st, and I, you know, I don't want to screw it up, so I just, I don't know, I, I made a post on Facebook, and it was a, it was kind of funny, they, um, you know, I, I said, I worked on the flight deck of an aircraft carrier, and nothing could prepare me for how nerve-wracking cutting into plastic would be, um, it just, it boggled my mind, but yeah, I sat there for like an hour and a half just looking at it before I made my first cut, and, um, and when it comes to... When it comes to building things and messing around and you know and, and making stuff, I'm pretty handy. I, I I do my own carpentry work around the house. I do my own plumbing work. I can do electrical work. I, I can I can pretty much do most things with confidence. Um, but there's something about this building stormtrooper armor that has got me nervous. Um, I'm sure as I move along and as I get better with working with the plastic and cutting it and shaping it and stuff, um, I'm sure I'll build my confidence and, you know, everything will be fine. But until that happens, I am scared
scared shitless about this. So, um, yeah, it, it's, it's been, it's been a hell of a fucking weekend for me. I, I really, I don't know. I, I, I'm writing a book and I have a fucking stormtrooper costume. In my world, for me, that's, I, I don't know, that's, that's really, really exciting, and I wanted to share it with you guys, and I'm gonna, you know, I'll keep, uh, I'll keep informing you guys of how I'm doing on the build and everything, and, uh, you know, if you're interested, it's, uh, you know, it's gonna be a fun, long process to build this costume, um, and, uh, and then hopefully at the end, very, very rewarding um, because I'll be able to go places and make kids smile and, yeah, you know, help, just help out and, uh, and show off a little too because um, I guess that's what it's about, right? You want people to look at you and say, hey, there's a, there's a stormtrooper. So, I don't know. Um thanks for taking the ride with me to work again. Um, I, I don't know, uh, if I'm going to keep this going, but, um, I wanted to do one this morning anyway. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, leave some comments, like it if you'd like, subscribe, but, um, have a good day guys.